13-0 in Logan Webb starts at home this season. He's got an ERA under two at home this season, regular season, and of course, game one of the NLDS. Dodgers shut out for the first time in the postseason since 2018 uh, in the NLCS of game three that year. Uh, it'll be Julio Urias against Kevin Gosman in game two. So Julio Urias will look to help the Dodgers even up the series. Game goes under the total of seven as Logan Webb just, I mean, a spectacular outing. He spins a gem. He catches the Dodgers in his web. Ten strikeouts, no walks in his postseason debut. The only other pitcher to have ten strikeouts, no walks, and no runs allowed in his postseason debut was Jake Arrieta back in 2015 in the NL Wild Card game. And uh, Logan Webb with a historic performance to get the Giants off to a great start in the NLDS, up 1-0 in the series against their arch rival, L.A. Dodgers. Welcome in former MLB Executive of the Year and CBS Sports Baseball Insider Jim Bowden. Giants take game one behind a stellar outing from Logan Webb. Pitches into the eighth, seven and two-thirds, five hits, no walk, strikes out ten in his postseason debut. What would you see from him on this night? Well, I saw him be able to throw to a future Hall of Fame catcher named Buster Posey, and I remember covering Buster Posey in the World Series in 2010, 2012, 2014, when the Giants won three world championships, and he put on a show behind the plate tonight. Buster Posey was calling basically mostly change-ups and sliders. Sure, he threw some really good sinkers, but it was the off-speed pitch that was just dominating. You can see the change-up there, fastball up, but the ball just kept diving like a dead fish at the bottom of the zone. Dodger hitters were swinging over it the whole night, but Buster Posey kept moving it in and out. He kept everything down all night. The Dodgers hitters were off balance the entire night. But Logan Webb, he wasn't shaking up Buster Posey. He was following him, just like Tim Lincecum did, just like Matt Cain did when those guys won world championships at Madison Bumgarner. And Webb certainly belongs in the conversation with all three of those pitchers here. In 2021, he was masterful tonight. As you said, 10 strikeouts, no walks, seven and two-thirds innings. Buster Posey put the fingers down. He followed them. He located. He executed. He was nasty. It was really a joy to watch. This is the first time a starter this postseason has gone into the eighth inning. This is rare to see something like this from a starting pitcher in the postseason. Usually, hey, give me five, and we'll turn it over to the bullpen. On this night, Logan Webb spins a gem, seven and two-thirds, ten strikeouts, no walks. Now, a lot of people questioning this, but what did you think? And it pays off, but what did you think of the decision by Gabe Kapler to go with Logan Webb in game one instead of Kevin Gosman? That was the right decision. Why? Because Webb has been their best starter. He was down the stretch, and so I think this was an easy decision for him. I think he is the ace of the staff, so I like the call. I really like how he followed him in this game as well. He brought in the submariner, Tyler Rogers, who got that seeker to ground out to second base, and then the young kid, Dovio, came in in that last thing, throwing 100 miles an hour, great nasty slider, two strikes in a row, and then the 100 mile an hour at the top of the strike zone. So the Dodger hitters had three completely different looks. It was absolutely managed perfectly by Gabe Kapler, not just the decision to start Webb, but to follow him properly uh, with Rodgers and then, of course, Doviel to, to finish the game. And then offensively, you know, big story with Buster Posey. I mean, a 3-0 count, and Walker Bueller throws a fastball, four-seamer outs outside part of the plate, and Buster Posey showed tremendous power going the other way at night at Oracle Park. It is really hard to hit a ball that far into the water at night especially when the air is cold as it was uh, tonight there in San Francisco. And then, of course, Chris Bryant here later in the game gets a hold of one, rips one out to left field. And we can't leave Brandon Crawford out, right? Because yep. what he did in 2010, 12, and 14, he ended up hitting one later in the game as well. This was a great win for the Giants to start their NLDS against the Dodgers. Yeah, it was uh, Posey's first postseason, season, uh, first postseason home run since 2012 when he hit a homer off Max Scherzer, who's now with the Dodgers. He's going to see him in this series. Um, I'm curious here, do you think the dramatic slash emotional wild card win impacted the Dodgers in game one? We saw the Red Sox come out flat in game one against the Rays after their wild card win over the Yankees. 
You know, I think that the fact that the Giants clinched the division and they got rest, I think really helped San Francisco more than the wild card game hurt the Dodgers. The Giants were really fresh in this game, and you could see it. They had their legs under them. They were really well prepared. So I think the rest, by winning that division by one game, helped the Giants in the first game. But look, the Dodgers played a great game. I mean, as you mentioned, Walker Bueller pitched really well. He just made two bad pitches of all of his entire night. It was really two bad pitches. That was it, the one to Posey and the one to Bryant. So gave them a chance to win. And then in terms of the Dodgers not hitting Webb, I got to tell you, I just credit the pitcher. I mean, he kept everything low, and he was moving it in and out, and the ball just kept dropping, like last minute, like a foot. And, and you got no chance when that happened. So I think it had more to do with the Giants getting proper rest than it did – the Dodgers coming off that tremendous win over the Cardinals. Giants set the tone. Game two Saturday night back in San Francisco. Julio Urias looking to help his club even up the series against uh, Kevin Gosman. Jim, sit tight. Back with you in a moment. More highlights here as playoff baseball rolls on. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.